Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a little, oh not little, this is actually going to be a rather large stream, a rather long stream at least, compared to uh, to usual. Um, I've been teasing this for a while and um, I wanted to do something, well originally I didn't want to do something for 40k, I wanted to save it up for 50k and do something bigger then, but then I thought you know what let's do something small and that's why what we're doing today, this is just going to be a yeah celebration live stream i haven't um i haven't lined up like prices and all that stuff that i um that I normally do this has been really uh really short uh short planning period pretty much just looked through my calendar today and realized if i'm gonna be able to do a longer stream just like in the near future um it would have to be today because most other days uh weekends are gonna be uh, um are gonna be booked because I have a lot of stuff coming up. So, so I'll be doing it today, and I don't know how long it's gonna be. Um, but I'll probably be here for quite a few hours, and I hope you guys will stick with me. At least we're gonna be here well into the um, US prime time. And thanks a lot for all the um, <laughs> for all the uh, uh, congratulations in uh, in chat. So, um, before did I get game audio? Yeah, I just need to turn my headset on, then uh, I'll turn it up, then I can actually hear something. Perfect, okay. Um, no, what I wanted was uh, just quickly some of the things that um, that I've lined up for, for you guys today. Um, and of course I've closed that link, that's wonderful. Well prepared as always. No, um, <laughs> we're going to do several different things doing the... Uh, Thank you, Duchess. It's not quite yet. There's still what twenty days. It's on the twentieth of September. That so that's coming up. That's why I have so many events coming up here in the next month. Um, but one of the things I have done because I wanted to do something to make this a little bit more special than on a, just just a normal live stream is I have added a discount code on the merch store, and that discount code is going to be working for as long as the stream is running. It means when the stream is over, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to disable that discount code. Um, I'm just quickly going to post the link both on YouTube and Twitch to the merch store so you can go and have a look if you're interested and I'm going to quickly go and find the code which I've already forgot <laughs> so well prepared as always there we go I'm going to post the uh, the discount code is D2EA40K so if you want to buy anything from the merch store, you can use that, and that should give you a um, a five dollar discount per item, and you just apply that on checkout, and you should be good. Derek, thanks a lot for the uh, for the super chat. Awesome man. 
A very merry old birthday to you. Okay, thank you, Recycled. Um, but into the what we're going to be doing in the stream today. Oh, I should remember, mug of choice. Can you see that on, at all? Carlos mug today. Thought that would be fitting. Um, is there another big discount? I'm already wearing your merch. <laughs> okay, so um, again, because it's going to be a longer stream, uh, we're going to be doing several things. And first of all, I'm going to, as you can see here, I'm on my alt character. I'm going to begin make my way towards um, Colonia, and we're going to do that until I, I feel like or you guys feel like we should do something else and then we're going to jump over to the main character where we can go and do some mining i've made some slight alterations to the uh, um to the gold digger to make it more suited for um for low temperature diamond mining rather than painite mining there are some like slight uh, nuances in the build that you can do to uh, to optimize a little bit we can go and we could do a, a proper run there and collect some uh, um, some low temp diamonds make some money towards those uh congrats on 40k subs thank you warrenston for the uh for the very generous donation as well awesome stuff and thanks for the uh for the congratulations as well um no no as i said we're going to be uh to first fly a, a little bit here and do some exploration make our way towards colonia then we're gonna switch over maybe we're gonna go do some mining maybe we're gonna do, go and do some kill some uh, some npcs I don't know. We'll figure it out as long uh, along the way. Um, maybe we're gonna do some ship builds. I don't know. I have plenty of of projects in lead, and it's all something we could go and uh, we can look at. But um, last time I was on this on this character, I decided to make my way um, like well out of the galactic plane. So you can see we all the way up here now, um, just because I was originally planning to go back down to the nebula below me. Because I want to spend some more time in that. But I think I'm going to scratch that plan. And just make my way down and then begin to cross. Uh, make make it across towards uh, Colonia. Because by now I just really want to make it, uh, get there a little bit faster. So instead of going, um, going down and explore the nebula below me here. So I could actually go and remove that bookmark. There we go. Delete that. Um, I'm going to need these. These are important. Uh, then we're just gonna make it down the uh, the pipe again, and then gonna plot around to Colonia. I'm gonna begin to uh, to fly towards that. So, first step is we're gonna make it down the pipe that we have here, because if we don't do that, we can't get out. There we go. Okay, so this one is how far away? Seventy something. Yeah, seventy four. That means we need a. 100% injector. We're gonna build an injector. Which only takes forever. Could have made two jumps the time it takes to build this. There we go. That should bring our jump range up. Yeah. So we can now make this jump. Yeah, I think the Dutch is. I think there's a lot of people who just fly there in a straight line and then. Uh, oh, hold. Clears throat YouTube. The final copyright claim. These are the streams of down to earth astronomy. His continuing mission to upload informative videos, host entertaining streams, events. To boldly <laughs> stream where no one has streamed before. <laughs> I did I did see you tag that on uh, on Discord. That I really like that one. That made me laugh. Hold on, you eyes are wrong. <laughs> to boldly stream where no one has streamed before, which is true. I'm pretty sure these systems are very much undiscovered. Yeah, look, no one's been here at all um did we check these systems for what what were in them we did but i mean i've already been in all of these systems so it should be uh, be pretty straightforward okay next system in route is this one here uh just select the system maybe 
For that, we'll need another. Congrats from sunny Las Vegas for reaching 40k subscribers. Thank you, Star Lost, for the uh, for the generous donation as well. Hold on, did it? Did I cancel it? God damn it! I cancelled it. Did I? Uh... Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me just check. Yeah, we do not have an in injector, so we're gonna. And it didn't consume the materials. Perfect. Astrotrix, Astrotrix Six, the undiscovered system. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Pressy. By the way, um, I've I had we've had English. Come on. Um, there's been some issues with the chat, especially in the last live stream where it would die in the middle of the live stream. Um, at the on-screen chat, where you suddenly couldn't see that being uh, displayed anymore. Um, please help me keep an eye on it, and if it suddenly is not responsive anymore, um, then let me know, because I've tried to do a complete reset of the whole chat, like new tokens, new everything. Um, so I hope that will uh, resolve the issue. Maybe. We'll see. Because it's been a little annoying that it's been dying on me all the time. Oh, has has wow. Has just donated 40 pounds. Say congratulations on hitting the 40k Astro. Key you up the great work. Thank you, man. Dude, thank you. Wait, wait shit, I'm fuel scooping. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm absolutely right in reaction craft. Um, sorry, I just... Uh, hold on. <laughs> what are we doing here? Um, mental math. Yes. Where are we going? We are going to go and jump to the system. We need another 10 light years out of it. How do we get 10 light years? We do that by... We should be able to do that on a 25% bonus injector. Yeah, thank you, man. 50, 56 light years. Perfect. Oh, we are entering. Look at that. We're now actually getting the uh, into a new region. We are right on the border between uh, between two regions right now. Okay, and this should be the end of the pipe. Let's just for good measure scan the system. I believe I did it when uh, when I was here last time. Yeah, good. Um, so we can now get rid of these blueprints. There's no need to get up there anymore and now we should be in a position to plot a route where did they go there it is colonia route plotting failed really Maybe we're not out of the pipe yet. 
That was odd. Christopher says, Grape, did you ever finish the series on BGS? No, that it died a little bit when when they begin to change everything. Oh, hold on, look at that. Um, after they began changing everything, um, that whole thing kind of died a little bit. Um, because then the, they changed BGS so much that the guides were like still somewhat relevant. Um, but there's still a lot of it that is a little unknown, at least to me, exactly how the finer detail works. That's why I, I didn't immediately continue it. What are you on about? You can easily go down. Right? I mean, okay, let's just try to go down like here. Can we get here maybe? Okay, you can get us down there. Let's do that and see if we can plot a route from there. Maybe it's just confused about the... I think it, maybe it's confused because it still has to go backwards in the wrong direction. Um, and that's why I think it, it can't get there. Any star filters active? Huh. Yeah, I do have some star filters active. No, I don't. I thought I had, but I turned them. Uh, I turned them all off, all on again. But you know what? I should probably do that now. Turn off all these proto stars, carbon stars, proto stars, proto stars. Riots, white dwarfs, and non sequence stars. We're gonna keep those and apply filter. And use jet comb boosting. There we go. Okay. Computer says no. Well, then we'll fly it manually there. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Gamer William, hello and welcome. Um, Serenity, any star filters? Yeah, we just looked at that. Um, you just go to cryo Street. I think my ship will run out of fuel before we get to that. Easy way to get there eventually. Yeah, but I want to get there alive. Hello, Picard. Okay, what do we have here? Clearly, someone, maybe me, has been here before. Thanks for the subscription on subscription on YouTube. Oh, hold on. How is the paint job actually doing on this ship right now? Oh, it looks like it's okay. Yeah, that's right. You could just go silent running and turn the thrusters on, but I still need uh, power for life support. And I still don't, even as I turn off the thrusters, I still don't think I would be able to survive. Let's honk the system. Thank you very much for the congratulations. I'm heading towards Colonia. All right, I'm just trying to get back towards like a part of the galaxy that's populated enough with stars that I can actually plot around. What is Colonia? Colonia is a uh, a second bubble away from the bubble. It's a it's a small area colonized by by humans like twenty six thousand light years away, and that's where I'm heading. And I'm planning to stay there on this character at least. Have I considered hosting an expedition for the 50k subscriber mark? It could be fun, but I don't know where we should go. Complete. 
Oh, hold on. We got a water world. And it's a fairly small system, so uh, get out of the uh, scoop range and uh, get some distance to the star. Yeah, it's well, kind of a power you can. I mean, you can see it out here, there. There are like engineers out here living in that small nebula, where people have put up a small, uh, small base, a small like colony out there. Okay, I think we're far enough away. There should only be like 10 planets in this system, or 10 bodies, the star included, so 9 planets in all, in total, is that, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's beautiful. Out of interest, how many jumps can you do before the frame subscribe begins to go wrong? Um, if you don't take any um, any highways, then you should be pretty good. Oh wow, Commander Fleming says in uh, in Danish. Tillykke med de 40,000. Thanks a lot, Fleming. Wow, that's a very generous donation as well. Uh, how does how does where's that last one? No, there it is. Chat is quiet. It seems to be there on. What am I doing? Here we go. Waterworld. Meta alloys does not affect your uh, your frame shift drive. Only um, Thargoid components does. So you should be okay with meta alloys. Um, and as long as you don't do any um, neutron boost or white dwarf boost, like cone boosts, with the uh, jet cones, then you should be good. And I'm going to overshoot. What are your thoughts on how fleet carriers would change gameplay? That depends how easy they are. Like, what is the cost to move one? How? Well, not necessarily cost, but. How much playtime does it take to, to get the fuel you need to do one jump? That could be, I mean, how much, how many hours of mining do you have to do? Or how many hours of whatever activity is required to get it? If that amount is low, then it's going to pretty much make stations not obsolete, but it suddenly means that the stations are no longer, at least for the more like veteran players who actually have a fleet carrier, it's not going to make it more... They're gonna make the station. It's gonna make the stations less um, of a base, more than like a shopping mall where you go if you need specific materials or if you want to pick up missions or something like that. Um, but your base of operation is going to be the uh, the fleet carrier itself, probably. Um, however, if it's very expensive, then it is. I mean, let me try that again. If it's cheap, then it's gonna be a base of operation where you move that around and you're not gonna use the stations as much. However, if it's very expensive to move, then I would probably still see people docking up on stations because, um, hold on, let me just quickly, quickly map this planet here. There we go. Um, if it's very, sorry, if it's very expensive to move, then people will still leave their ships around. For instance, um, if it's expensive to move, I um 
I will still leave my mining ships in the area where I want to mine. So right now we'll still leave my mining ships close to uh, Poporan where we have the triple node ship to diamond hotspot. Because I don't want to spend the money remo moving my fleet carrier there just so I can mine. I would rather just take a ship, fly out there like a jump a conda or something, then mine the, what, I, what I need. Unless, of course, we're going to be able to have actual storage on it, then it might actually be useful to have the fleet carrier in the area. Um, so it depends a lot on which facilities are on it, but but mainly, I think, on the price for for moving it. Okay. Let us jump to the next system. Yeah, I, I hope it's going to have fuel for several jumps. Otherwise, it's going to make expiration in it. A right pain in the ass, and you could easily get the thing stuck. Oh. What is my biggest milestone? Ooh. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. My biggest milestone in the game so far. Hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. And more follows on Twitch. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, Fleming. Yeah, it's a good point that as Christopher says, explorations will have larger tanks, trade extra cargo. What about mining then? I mean, that would make a lot of sense if that's the case. Oh yeah, reaction craft, that's a good question. Um, KSP2, Kerbal Space Program 2. It looks good. I am very much looking forward to it. And I'll definitely be keeping an eye on it. Okay, we're just gonna check because it seems like we're now in a in an area where we have pretty uh, pretty decent coverage of stars. Can we make it out? Nope. Oh, can we? Is it still plotting? Yeah, it's still plotting. Okay. Here we go. I'm pretty sure, I mean, the way I understand it, the fleet carriers themselves is not going to change much. They're going to have, well, the basic functionalities, but depending on what the support ship has, it might... Or maybe even the support ships would have the extra thing. But again, we know the support ship is going to give some abilities to the ship in terms of modules and ship availability. So, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know who would mine in the Mamba. Maybe they help collect with the season mining in the Mamba. I think the fact that they're mining in a Mamba, that's just because the Mamba is a new ship and Frontier likes to show it off. We've seen that in the teaser trailers before, that they use a ship for, for a task that makes absolutely no sense when it comes to the actual ship type. Kylie says, how do you only have 40,000 subscribers? I thought you had more. No, that's not... I mean, Elite is a small niche game. It is really a niche game. Um... And I do try to branch out to other franchises, but again, the majority of people there are here for elite content. <laughs> that would be a lot of carriers, uh, Duchess Asylum. Okay, Aaron says the Frontiers confirmed that carriers can take part in combat by protecting themselves 
and the ships around them. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot for the subscription on YouTube. Four bodies, nothing there. I can't remember if I scanned this already. I'll do it again. Um, I asked, what do you think we will end up having cargo in fleet carriers? Would it be a fixed amount or very depending on the load? I'm pretty sure. I, I'm not sure if we will have cargo. I hope we will. If they're going to be able to participate in combat, so it's going to be such an active thing that you actually take it with you into combat. Um, then I'm pretty sure we will also be able to have cargo and i guess i do believe that will vary dependent on the loadout so like a trade ship or a um or a mining vessel um might have um might have more cargo than maybe other variants have but and some variants might not even have cargo at all Oh, ooh, ooh, what do we have here? That's a ammonia world and a water world in a small system again. Nice. What do we have here? Yeah, I am I'm not a hundred percent sure of course, but I am pretty sure that Space Lake is gonna be part of the 2020 update. Although I'll begin to reach out again when I get a little bit closer when I get done scanning here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. And the last one. Yeah, I think you're right, uh, Nico, that if they implement Space Lake, the game, like, number of players will probably explode quite significantly. Okay, let's see if we have any terraformables. Nope. Nope. Here we have the Water World. And we have a terra. We have Planet 4, we need to scan Planet 5. Wait, we have what? Two Water... What? Water world, two water worlds, and an ammonia world, and a high. Wow, this is a valuable system. With two water worlds, an ammonia world, and a terraformable high metal content. Okay, then we need to actually plan this. So we need to go to four, five, six, and seven. So we're going to go four, five, seven, six. To flying like a square instead of flying zigzag like that um i'm pretty sure that the base building is going to be part of the 2020 update i mean they they did hire people to ride an AI to drive SRVs around, or probably other sh other vehicles, but someone to ride an AI that could drive the drive stuff around the surface. And I think that's going to mean we're going to have a lot more activity on the surfaces, and that's probably going to be involved as part of a um, a mining up or not mining a, a like a s s planetary building like surface building thing. Yeah, I agree, Christopher. It seems really, really odd that, I mean, the it made so much sense that you would be able to have different types of SRVs, and it really, really possibly means that they haven't done anything with it. Um, I really hope that's going to be part of 2020 as well. Yeah, cargo space on carriers and base building in 2020 then we're definitely beginning to look at something that could be very very good oh that wasn't wasn't the best position probe i've ever shot uh, it'll probably be okay 
There we go. You think they'll add new controllable ships in 20... Maybe. That is often something they only tell us like at the very last moment. Come on, please, please, no. Okay. I think I'm gonna try to shoot one there. I mean, I need 3%. This should do it. Come on. Perfect. Oh. That's a perfect shot. Uh, Robert says, how do you determine where to shoot the probe so they hit the back of the planet? I'm going to show you when we get to the next planet here in a bit. <laughs> we have to better add something to the game. <laughs> that can be bought with credits. I don't want to spend, spend mine on... Well, literally, I don't... I don't know what to spend mine on besides more belugas that I still haven't mentally recovered from the Guardian grind. Well, fleet carriers are coming out. There should be plenty of, uh, of money sinks into that. Okay, Robert, let's uh, let's have a look. So, stop the ship here. So, hitting the center one should be pretty straightforward. When you want, you can see that small line there. If you shoot at that line, you're going to hit on the horizon. That means then you're going to hit right like there on the horizon. So, that's why I'm sh this is the base of your horizon line. So, I'm going to shoot for that. And then I'm going to do that in the square because we have six probes on this one, like so. Now, when it comes to hitting the back of the planet, we know this one is the horizon. We can go out until it says miss. So anything in this area is going to be the back of the planet. And it's then up to you to kind of determine where the center of the backside is. I think it's right around here. And then I hope that it's gonna hit somewhat on the back of the planet. Yeah, okay. So it was not quite in the center, but it's good enough. We get what we want. Okay, next. Gonna head out to planet seven. All this says, can I just say that thanks for all your videos? As an elite dangerous. I 
I've been playing Elite Dangerous for only a few months and you helped me become successful at the game in so many ways. Cheers mate, you are very welcome. <laughs> Six trillion planets and not enough belugas to visit them all. <laughs> I was about to say, how much of am I, am I up to at the moment, but I, of course, can't see this in this character. This character is poor. I'm in the galaxy right now. I'm about 12,000 light years out from um, from Colonia. Ah, there we go. Loop of shame. Now we got way close to the planet here. Uh, let's see if we can salvage this. Seven probes. Did I shoot one there? I don't believe I did. I must have. Oh, misses all the way up there. Okay, let's see how that goes. Well, that didn't go well at all. Oh, that was not it. This one. We already missed the target for the efficiency target, so we could be a little bit more careless now. Okay, that gave us nothing apparently. Okay. Well, I made a mess of that. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Okay, last water world. Uh, 
problem is I got so close to the planet that we're now stuck in the gravity well. Oh, look! That's my probes! Nico, that's a good idea as well, actually. I'm actually surprised they haven't done that. Like a miniature drum drive that's going to allow you to jump to another star and system. So beneficial. This was another water world, okay. <laughs> the random nurse says, hello, just joined the stream. After sort of notification. Hello and welcome. It's another seven. Just gonna treat it like a six. I see where this leaves us. Okay, 89%. We just need 1% and we're done. Thank you, random nerd. We have seven probes, so we can still make the efficiency target, and I'm pretty sure we're going to make it with this one. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Target next system and go. Uh, there's a key binding you can set, I can't remember where it is, um, that allows you to see the back of the planet. Um, Twenty-six bodies, not too bad. But nothing of interest, it's either gas giants or smaller rocky well, high metal content well high metal content can be good but i don't want to stop for high metal content because then i have to stop in every single system thank you has Tess. thank you ai it is working it's picking up the twitch as well nice Storm Dragon Excel asks, am I just collecting astronomical data for credits? No, I'm just collecting astronomical data because I was there anyway. And I'm mainly I'm heading towards Colonia, but um, but then I, I mean, so whenever I come across a system where I spot a, a high value planet, then I scan it, I map it and uh, 
and then move on. Same thing here, nothing of interest. We're good on fuel. Let's get into the into the rhythm here. Hold on, I need to remember to look. Okay, one of these star settlement stations, point of interesting sources, systems. There we go. Actually, good point. I forgot to turn on my. Uh, the market connector so we can share data. Three bodies, uh, I think they're all stars. Yes. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. Okay, while we're jumping, I just want to uh, to remind you guys, as uh, as part of the um, it's forty thousand subscriber celebration, um, I am for the duration of the live stream here. I am running a discount in uh, in the merch store, so I'm just going to quickly post a link there, and uh, the discount code is. D2EA 40k. I'm gonna post that uh, as well. That will give you five dollars off every item you buy on uh, the store, and they will work for the duration of the stream. So go over and check it out. Get yourself a Carlos mock or T-shirt or hoodie or whatever you you fancy. At least give it a look. What do we have here? We have a water world. Let's get outside fuel scooping range. <laughs> Just gonna quickly scan the whole system. Oh, I didn't move far enough away from the start, did I? I'll probably have to relocate, I guess. Unless I'm lucky. No. Uh, stuff behind the star. Let's get moving then. How far am I out? I am this far out. So, about halfway to Sectarius A. Oh, water world with moons around it. Or. Actually, it's a no. Oh, it's two planets orbiting each other. It's not really moons. Where is that last one, though? I thought I saw it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, there it is. This must be a captured object. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is captured. Look at that. Mm -mm. Yeah, you see that? And even though the orbit looks fat and round, I'm pretty sure if we actually go and look at it. Yeah, look at that. That is very, very much a captured object. Jump range of the Python is around 45 light years. Go full throttle here. Uh, plenty of time. <laughs> oh. And I'm overshooting. <laughs> Is there a speed record from the bubble to Colonia? I'm pretty sure there is. I have no idea what the current record holder is and how fast it was. Or who the record holder is. Oh, oh no, oh, cut the tie. Now, we only just started. <laughs> okay, let's, let's map this thing. Six probes. Gotta be quick here, because we're still moving a little fast for my liking. There we go. I really need to find... I mean, can you guys hear my joystick? It's making all kinds of noises now. I think I need to do a little bit of maintenance on that. Red Bull. <laughs> Service scan complete. Next system. You can hear it? Okay. It definitely needs an, uh, I don't know if it needs oil or what you do with it. You get dust out of it maybe. I don't know what did you do with uh like I mean it's plastic. Do you put oil in I don't know. <laughs> oh. Wax. <laughs> good, good morning, I guess.
Graphite. Okay. All kinds of interesting uh, suggestions. Nothing empty system. Silicon based. Okay. I'll. There's a few hobbies, uh, hobby shops in there. Uh, in town i guess uh, i guess i can go to them and say i need stuff for this the tears are full of that <laughs> a candle that's a good idea did that work buy a new one ah With they've tried to make it more noob friendly, do you think they will reduce the mat grind aspect of no I don't think so. I think the they they're improving the new player experience. I think what they want to do is they want to make the make it easier for people to get into elite. Anyone using an HDMI cable for them? Yeah. <laughs> I think. One is displayed, the other is HDMI. PTFE. Dry spray. That's T. Hansen. Okay, I'll drive by that on the my way home from work, actually. If they then reduce grind, well, they did increase the payout of mining very, very significantly. Ah, switch group. Wait, what type of star is this? Okay, okay, all right. It just seemed a lot bigger. Anybody else align their ships up with random celestial bodies to feel like this up and down? I think everybody does that. That's a pretty natural thing.
38 and oh god we have a water world oh is that an earth like i think it's an no no it's just one of those trolley uh trolling ice worlds well let's get some distance and let's get scanning then <laughs> As that, yeah well it's it's not wrong but If there's some asteroid clusters, so probably around the secondary star. Oh, all the planets here. more stuff here that's probably some of the asteroid clusters i hope yeah that should be it apart from all the other stuff that's also up, up here god so many planets Oh, you know what? I forgot. Ha! Hold on. Give me a second here. I need to put myself over there. So that you guys can actually see the... Planets thingy. Oh, we have a star C as well. Wonderful. Still have 19 to go. We're halfway there. What? There it is. It's really getting squeaky now, this joystick. I need to do something about that. Just move my microphone like this instead. Maybe it's not gonna pick it up as much. I don't know if that made a difference at all. Worth a try, I guess. Wait, how many stars are in this system?
two more and we're done. Um, I don't think I've actually ever done anything directly with Obsidian or um, or Mini. I mean, I've we've hosted some um, uh, some round tables together uh, in the past, so I don't know if that counts, but something along those lines. Look at all the stars. Okay. Where is our water world? Thing is right there. So what kind of lifespan do you get out of a out of a hose? Hold on, just quickly. There we go. Um, I can't remember when I actually did the review of mine. Um, but I can look that up, I guess, while I'm gonna go and overshoot the planet here in a bit. So, what do we look for? X56. See, this is the nice part about uploading everything to YouTube. You always know, uh, you can always go and see when a specific thing happened or when you got a specific item especially if i reviewed it so i can see i uploaded my review on the 30th of december 2017 and by that point i have had it for about uh like a few months so this one is coming up on two years now um that i've got out of the system Wednesday, when is the next round table? It's been a long time. That's right. We have been trying to get one up and running. Um, but uh, first of all, there hasn't been a whole lot to talk about. Now, of course, with fleet carriers, we could definitely do a round table on, uh, on that. But I would suspect as we begin to get um, to get closer to the launch of, uh, of fleet carriers, that maybe we're going to do one there. There we go. Yeah, next up is on the yeah, it looks about right. System done. That's not the shortcut I needed. I need target next system, and we're gonna jump. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, the September update is um, it's not the most exciting update. I mean, we have the new player stuff, which I'm definitely gonna go and take a look at, no doubt about it. Um, but of course, also the arcs, arcs, arcs. Yeah, actually, I I I don't even know. Um, I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of new stuff there, but but we have seen in the past, and Frontier loved to do this, so I wouldn't be surprised if they did this this time, that you have this update where there's really nothing for the like existing player base. And then they, like, last minute, they, they reveal some, hey, oh, by the way, guys, here's something else that they're going to add. They, they really love to do those, like, oh, here's a little extra thing. That could be 
a new ship or, or something like that. They've been adding a lot of new ships, like medium combat, combat ships. Um, uh, I don't even... <laughs> I was actually considering at some point, I wanted to do more ship comparison video where I took like one ship against the others. And I've done like uh, exploration and, and that kind of stuff. But I then wanted to, to do like, okay, so what would be like a good medium combat ship? And then I just began looking at it, and as I was beginning to say, oh, but if I include the, the, like the Python and the crate would make sense to look at those, how they compare it as a combat, because they're so close to each other. But I can't do medium combats without looking at something like the Fertilance and the Mamba. But what about all the Federal, uh, the, like the, uh, no, so the, the, the Alliance ships and the Federal ships, the drop ships and, and all the Chieftain and all those ships. And suddenly you end up with a list that is really, really long. And that video would just take, like, an hour if I had to compare all those ships unless I would do it very like not go a lot in depth a lot which I often don't like to do I like to do videos where I can can nerd about a little bit more so so even though I did spend a good deal of time like researching up on that I just decided to scrap the project in the end it, it didn't feel right um but I am working on another project that I think could be really cool. Um, and I think that's gonna, gonna work. I've, I'm beginning to make graphs on it now. Um, I was planning to do like a in-depth analysis of how shield boosters work. Like not the, the, the metaphysics, like how, uh, how the, the, the like science fiction of, of them, how it works, but how does the math behind shield boosters and especially the, um, uh, the diminishing return around them how does that affect it and i wanted to do that research because i was planning to write a program that would thanks a lot for the follow on twitch that would run through every single combination that you could do of shield boosters and engineering and that's a lot of combinations we're talking thousands of them and then in every case basically calculate what is your average shield what's your average shield if only looking at let's say thermals and kinetic and stuff like that just to see like which if like which combinations are there that gives good results hello commander bits and thanks for the follow on twitch so i don't know if uh, if that's gonna 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 work if we make a program that or if you're gonna discover something new we might just find but we already know that yes uh augmented uh, is the best option but i don't know I'm not sure if it's gonna be an app. It's 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 more gonna be like a a like command line script that I run on my local PC and then it spits out a lot of data, um, and then I can take that data and analyze and and and, 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 and analyze it afterwards. And it might just confirm what we already know, which I suspect, but who knows. Run it on a pi. Nah, I mean, it's not going to be that heavy. I mean, it's going to be very basic calculus. And, and I'm doing a lot of the like footwork now by pre-calculating diminishing return factors and all that stuff so that it makes the calculations the program has to do a lot easier. We haven't honked the system here. Oh yeah, talk about pie holes. I'm gonna. I have been uh, been thinking about installing one as well. Uh, just to be able to like block some of the most annoying things that like. <sighs> oh, what do we have here? Is that another water world? No, it's. I think that's a trolley gas giant, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Let's see, if we can find it. 
Where is it? It's not that one. There it is. Yeah, it's a trolling water world. It's a water giant, which makes sense. Yeah, I, I saw Linus's video. That was what, what inspired me to, to consider actually doing it. And just because I love that kind of stuff. Sam will ask, why am I using a python? I mean, the jump range isn't exactly the best. Well, because I want a ship that, well, first of all, I like the python. And I wanted a ship that had a little bit more internal compartments so I could carry more modules with me out there. I probably wouldn't need it. I mean, it seems like uh, Colonia is way better stocked on modules than I have anticipated. So it probably wouldn't have been, um, have been necessary. But again, also, I, uh, I didn't do this trip to get there fast. I did it to enjoy the scenery and like take it take it nice and slow take the scenic route um on the way to colonia that's why you also see very few um very few um neutron boosts along the way it will mostly just be normal jumps most of the way Uh, so what am I going to do if I get popped, um, popped before? Well, to be honest, when I get to Colonia, I will probably be flying in uh, in either solo or private group. Two reasons. Um, I will most likely be recording it, and as always, when I'm recording, I play mostly in solo because I don't want people to come in and suddenly interfere in the middle of a video, and uh, then I have to reshoot stuff. Especially if you're this far out, it would really suck having to try to redo everything as so I get sent back to the bubble. Um, so that's one of the main reasons why I will be, uh, why I'll be, uh, when I get to Kluwer, I'll probably be flying in solo. And also, if I announced when exactly I would be flying into Colonia, with that in open, you can be sure as hell there would be someone waiting for me there with a gun pointing at, pointed at me. I know there's a few PvP groups out in the area. Um, Commander Vin, thanks a lot for the uh, follow on Twitch. jumps again 165 doing pretty good
Death's Enforcer. Thanks a lot for the subscription on YouTube. Oh, new stuff. As it stands right now, is a quick way. I do believe there is a, fi a federal system around. I can't remember the name of it. I actually have an email I need to reply to. Keep forgetting that. Someone sent me an email exact asking the exact same question. I've been meaning to to reply to it for quite a while, but I. This is definitely uh, a war world, but I keep forgetting. Um. Yeah, South of Seas, that's a good point as well. Run some passenger missions out there, would we'll also get your your rank up in a in a fairly decent uh, at a fairly decent speed. Thank you, William. Oh. Pretty. Oh, we're done. Terraformable? No. I love the lava worlds. Okay, let's waddle down. Let's look at some of the planets uh, in this system here. There's not that many of them. They look quite big. Yeah, look at that. That's a pretty big. That's just twice the size of the Earth. Which should give it a... Oh, uh, yeah. Pretty hefty gravity. That's hot. <laughs> that... Wow. That's like 2000 degrees Celsius. What is the thing made of? Rock and metal. You can't see which one. Axis tilt 25 degrees, rotational period. Orbital, where's orbital period? There. It's about a year, so that's pretty nice. Cool. Do I think there will be any engineering materials with fighter fleet carriers? No. I had hoped so in the past, but with the announcement from Frontier that said they would be very, very expensive. It looks like it's just going to be a cash thing. You just hand out a lot of cash. Um, my problem is we don't know what very expensive is. Very expensive could be anything from like two, three billions up to 15 or something like insane, like 25 or something like that. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, exactly has that. I mean, and with three Gs, that's a pretty, pretty strong, um, pretty strong gravity field. I mean, remember that most like non untrained people will begin to uh, like not feel well around the like I think it's a four or five Gs, something like that. Four, I think. Yeah, but I don't think, you should, now you say E-rated, I don't think you're going to be able to have modules to buy and fit on it like that. I think it's going to be a standard ship with no modules you can change on it. And then you can, the only thing you can change is the support ship. And that might have a price tag. Um, what are we doing here? We're, we're, we're mapping this planet. That's what I think at least. I'm not, of course, not sure. I don't know. 
Oh shit, was that a miss? I don't know, we'll see when it comes around. Hazard, <laughs> I struggle with the basic 1G. Yeah, that was a miss. There it goes. Whee! Got to cheat a little, and I'm gonna follow this thing around. Okay, here we're, here's what we're gonna do. Has says, that, how fast can you slingshot a probe around the planet? We're gonna go... Fire one there. And now we're gonna try to catch it on the other side. There it is. Oh! Oh, it's coming all the way back. Ah! <laughs> Where is it? There it is. That thing pretty much came right back towards me. <laughs> this is gonna despawn. Come on, we must be able to catch that thing. Oh, here we go. Oh, very delicate here. <laughs> oh, there we go, it despawned. <laughs> okay. That's a nice hold, uh, Ian. That's gonna bring in a pretty penny, that's for sure. Yeah, that should be around about like 578 tons of penny. Yeah, about 500 million, that sounds about right. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> Have you ever tried to self-destruct? Yeah, self-destruct with half a billion in cargo. So Ian, how much time did you spend mining that? This must have taken, what, two, three hours, four hours? 
with that size of cargo, you're probably flying like Type 9, maybe. Could fly a cutter. Three hours and another cutter. Perfect. And buddies, what do we have here? Nothing there. And another water. Wow, we have a lot of water wells now. <laughs> I just want to get to Colonia. Considering just getting like some some honking jumps. And, oh, oh, we're almost getting to some uh, some neutron jumps. Look at that. We're gonna have. Wow. Are we gonna hit the highway? Is that what's gonna happen here? That's a lot of jumps there. One. Two. Three. Four. Four jumps there. One. Two jumps there. There's also a ton of jumps here. We'll have to remember to refuel there and then we can probably have to refuel and that system there as well i hope we should be able to but we're probably not going to make this full stretch here uh without refueling got a scam netflix email well that's that's new all right let's uh let's probe this system All the stuff right here. There we go. And is this the water world? I think it is. Yep, it was. Oh, I like it when you get out of the uh, out of the plane. You can begin to see the planets and the uh, and the orbits. That looks nice. And the last one. Water worlds. Thanks for the subscription on YouTube. Water worlds. That did not look like a water world, but okay. Let's get scanning. XR DK, thanks a lot for the subscription on YouTube. This sounds like a Dane. I really hope Frontier will uh, will announce the price of the jump. Uh, sorry, the the fleet carriers, like well in advance of the actual thing coming out because 
it would mean regardless if they don't like announce it ahead of time i mean if there are people who have been collecting let's say 15 billion and it turns out to be five well then you have 10 billion credits that you don't know what to use for um on the other hand if there are people who've been collecting five billion and it turns out to be 15. <laughs> i mean there's probably going to be people who then go uh can't be bothered Anarchy, yeah. No shit. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but if that's the color of water on this planet, I'm not too fond to go swimming. Okay, what are we dealing with here? Six probes. Got it. Where is this? Oh, it's all the way up there. Oh, that was perfect. Okay, let's cover some distance here. We should be uh, be heading into the uh, to the section here with some neutron stars. Yeah, unfortunately, I think you're right. I think it's, it's the next system that's yeah next system is a neutron star so we're gonna get fully fueled here before we jump in there like that There we go. Ah, didn't get the supercharge. There we go. That's the supercharge. Let's 
gonna have a good look at this one. I love neutron stars. Like the way they like shine on the gas around them as well. Just looks awesome. <laughs> and the first thing I read in chat is I hate neutron stars. <laughs> But they're so pretty. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, long jump. I should just check the integrity of my frame shift right before we do this. Uh, there we go. Ninety-two percent. Okay. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm afraid of with all these neutron jumps. I mean, I'm, I haven't been doing that much, uh, like, cone boosting, so I am a little afraid of messing stuff up. Um, Dragonfool asked if I'm playing on PC. I'm playing, uh, sorry, what I'm playing on. I'm playing on PC. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have a, a non-neutron star here. We're gonna fuel up again. Quick look at the system. Good. Get clear of the star. Here we go. Oh, a lot faster this one. Very slowly. Good. Checking the integrity. 91%. Should be just fine. Thanks for the subscription on YouTube. Just for good measures, we got to honk the system. Nothing there. And jumping. You know, that could actually be a fun video, like how to escape from inside a cone in a neutron star. Something shorter than that, but that's the like the gist of it. Like on purpose, take a ship, drop it into uh, to the cone in a neutron star and then see if we can get it out. Hey, Bert. welcome to the stream. There we go. Fight it, fight it, fight it. Drive super drive supercharged, let's get out. Escaping certain death, yeah. The chat still working. Test, test. Just to see the chat. Is it still working on stream? There's quite a bit of delay. 
I think it's not working. Oops. Oh. Okay. Look at where I'm going when I'm flying close to neutral stars. Okay, this one you have to take two. It was little. There we go. Okay. Chat is not working. Wonderful. Let's try to do a reset. There we go. Oh, I should go running again. I don't know. I need another solution. Also, the, the, there's the on-screen chat. Um, as Funtime says, please, guys, if you are enjoying the stream, go down and uh, give it a like. It, especially on live streams, it helps a ton. Um, because it helps YouTube know that it's a good live stream that you enjoyed. So it will, will help pull it, put in even more people. Um, what were I doing here? I was about to check the... Oh. Oh, now that's unique. Wow, that's blue. Where is that last planet? Where is it? Oh, there it is. <sighs> that is very blue too. Now the super charging doesn't have a timeout. It's a water worlds, icy rocky, and I guess giants. Go for the water worlds. No, it's not a right star, it's a neutron star. There you go. Okay, Recycle says that he's even been shutting down his frameshift drive to repair it and didn't lose the supercharge. How far away from the star? Where is the star even? Probably can't see anything at this kind of range anyway, because it's, I mean, it's gotta be so small now that. Come on, slow down. There we go. Surface scanned by fifty percent. Okay, that's only sixty, so that should be. I know dear, that's too much, we'll see. When you get a chat from the Newsome Star. Do 
do you have to no 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 you don't have to win it's only when the route is plotted hold on did we ah okay we didn't shoot far enough in so we need to shoot a lot further all right so okay so you don't have to have hold on just get out of this boat here you don't have to have the slider here this this slider is not that is fsd boost that is using your injectors so that doesn't count it's jet cone boosting you want to have checked off and that will put jet cones in your route as you can see here oh we can just make it to the, end of the route perfect um they will put that in your um put that in your route and then you just have to boost in order to actually make those jumps oh, a little bit of a lag spike there um did we get that thing scanned where is the planet nope I didn't. Okay, great, wonderful. Yeah, you just need a fuel scoop. That's all you need, and then you're good to go. Good. Wait, are we? Okay, fair enough. We could have made this jump without a supercharge, which is a little odd, but okay. <laughs> if you don't have fuel, just open the window. We have ammonia and water wells in this system as well. Wait, what? Now it says that's 200. What are you doing, elite? You stupid thing. Ah, my bad. Hold on. Give me a second. I was playing around with it and I disabled jet cone boosting, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I messed up. Come on. It said route unavailable and proceeded to plot me a route. But this one is not a, not being boosted with jet cones. Hold on, what's going on here? Something's not right. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. What is going on? Oh, it hadn't put jet comb boostings on. Round of wonderful. Okay, let's make a route to Colonia now and see if it will, because it's like, what was it, like a hundred jumps that we save from using jet cone boosts here. And I'm definitely going to save a hundred jumps, <laughs> because that's a lot of jumping. And I'm getting ready to get into actually dark at Colonia now. It's fun out here, but I also kind of want to start the whole thing, that is, but which was the purpose of this whole trip. Yeah, there we go, right? So it's just going to send us a small detour here to that system. 
and then we're back on on the neutral route That's a little better. Wait, what's that? Okay, I think there was uh, some planets in the system, but by now I think... Oh, that was actually the Ammonia World. That's two water wheels in this system also. Um, you know what? I'll leave this for someone else to find. I was stuck in Super Cruise, so I'm now so far gone, or so far away that, uh, that I don't want to be flying back. Have I gotten your the? Have, you have to go in odd directions to see my name. I haven't. I have spotted a few command. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> okay. Well, hello. <laughs> Are we there yet? <laughs> no, not yet. We found an angry one. <laughs> Oh my god, that thing is angry. <laughs> yeah, that's the speedy boy. <laughs> Can we see the rotation speed of this? <laughs> Hold on, I need to see my... Uh... No, it doesn't show. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can jet compute on this. Okay. Let's head on inside. <laughs> this this feels like a bad idea. This feels like a thing that I should a thing that I should do. <laughs> oh, it's scary. Okay, it's not worse than a normal one. It just looks <laughs> yeah, Ash was last way on his colonial trip. Let's head on inside. <laughs> Is the effect caused by a nearby star? I don't think so. Okay, let's keep going. I'm not sure why this is caused. I think they just maybe didn't set a upper limit on how fast it could spin or set it too high or... Or maybe they're dividing, but I mean, they're calculating the spin rate. Maybe they're dividing by something and if that something like becomes very small, then the spin rate becomes very, very quick. Like, I don't know. Drive 
25 bodies in this system. That's actually a lot. Can we get out of the cone, please? I know. I'm trying to get out. There we go. Whew. Okay, well, there's nothing of interest in this system, planet wise. Hey, we're changing. Uh, look at that. We're changing sector now. We did a thing. Yeah, that was a boring neutron star. Okay, you better be ready to evade when we're jumping into these. Okay, that is a fairly, fairly easy one as well. Oh, I might have gone in a little bit fast there. Ah. Managed to get it. Again, nothing of uh, particular interest. Oh, FSD into uh, integrity. Sixty. Okay, when are we reaching the next fuel stop here? Okay, the next star should be... No. We have one more neutron star, then we have a fuel star. Um, so we're going to take this next one, and at the fuel star, we're going to do a, uh, a pit stop to, uh, to repair the FSD. I hope I brought AFMUs. Did I bring AFMUs? I think I did. It's a very tame one as well. Neutron star, hold my beer. I got this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thanks for the uh, for the donation, Warriston. Awesome stuff. And hello to uh, to Eddie, and thank you. Okay, time to refuel. Can quickly check the system while we're at it. Dive in a little deeper. Thanks a lot. There we go. Should the scooping complete? Thank you, awesome face. <laughs> like that name. There's a pulsar 
in Sagittarius that spins at 760 hertz. Like, that's audible. No, nope, that's not what I want. I want an emergency drop. There we go. Now, if I recall correctly, I need extra power. So I'm going to turn my Guardian booster off. And then I'm going to turn a turn this one on. I should have enough power for that. Maybe I would have enough power even with this on, would I? I would. Okay. Okay, anyway, that thing is on. Let's just do like a re repair of like the most important modules here. Slowly repairing. So we can see this one being drained now. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Ninety nine. Come on. Ninety nine and Thank you, John. Turn that thing back on. Is there anything else we need to worry about here? No. 99, 98, 97. No, it's just a little bit of overheating damage, I think. Um, you know what? I'll leave the AFMU online. That's probably okay. Oh, did it get the Guardian module back online, right? Yeah, I did. Perfect. Repairing the... Yeah, okay, maybe I should have repaired the AFMU. But again, they're at, what, 99%? Yeah, okay, 97, 98. That's okay. That's, they're not gonna malfunction with that. And even if I have one malfunctioning AFMU, by now, I think I'm getting pretty close to, what, 10,000 light years? I can make 10,000 light years. I mean, I would just have to avoid doing any more neutron jumps. Doing for jumps, we're down to 160 jumps now. We begin to get more of the blue, bluish stars, generally just more stars in our field of view. That's nice. Good question now. An alt is a full new copy. Yeah. So it is a completely separate account. I have two launchers. I have like. It's on two different emails. I mean, it is a completely separate character. I don't think neutral stars cause damage to a power plant unless you overheat. Oh, hold on. I should probably do a proper field scoop. They do damage. Power plant? Okay. Right, I believe uh, 
Oh, we actually have a few jumps here, and then we have a couple of neutron stars, then we're heading into... Oh, nice. How far are we away now? Can't see that right now. Okay, so we actually made it past that small uh, neutron boosting area there. Okay, I think I'll have to go and check how many jumps, how many uh, light just we have away. I mean, no, we are up 660 jumps. I only managed to cover like what 25 jumps today or something like that in the last two hours, which is not a whole lot. We spent a lot of time scanning. We've had a lot of of, uh, of water worlds uh, today, um, but as soon as you get into like a string of systems where there's just nothing in them, then you can really begin to cover some ground quickly. We're about 10,000 out cloning now. I thought it was an earthquake for a second there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Hastas, for dropping by. Okay, looks like we're getting into that. Uh, hold on, when's the neutron star coming up? Is that this one? No, it doesn't. It can't be. It's the wrong color. Um, should be some few more neutron stars coming up. But while we are just honking and jumping here for a bit, um, thanks a lot. Um, Druso, Druso, I think. Thanks a lot. Um, where were I saying? Yeah, while we're just honking and jumping here for a little bit. Um, Remember to go down, give the stream a like. It again, it really, really helps a lot. And um, again, because this is a celebration live stream, it was well. I wasn't planning to do something for 40k, but I decided to do something anyway. Um, I have decided to make a um, a quick discount code for uh, for the merch store. So if you're interested, go over and uh, and have a look and get yourself some uh, some cool stuff. I just posted the link for the uh, for the merch store in uh, in chat, and I'm gonna post the, the discount code as well. Um, so you can go and you can check that out. Oh, that's the neutron star. Hold on, I'll post on YouTube in a second. Um, but no, uh, if you get um, five dollars off every item you buy when you use the discount code, so just use it on checkout. If uh, well, if you're interested, that was a little bit more violent that entrance than I had planned. Okay, we got it anyway. And there's the code on YouTube as well. And then, of course, thanks a lot for all you guys who've both been, been donating today so far. I mean, we're far from done. I'm not closing down the stream, so don't worry. Um, and all you guys who have been subscribed, whether you've been it for a couple of minutes or a couple of years. Okay, keep on jumping. Just keep jumping, just keep jumping. 
Jules ask, why the Python? It doesn't have the best jump range. Just because you want to? Yeah, something along those lines. Okay, thanks for dropping by and uh, <laughs> sleep tight. Healthy ants. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, also, Fisk asks, you excited for the new carrier ships players are getting? And what do you think the cost will be? Um, yeah, very excited, and I think cost is going to be five to ten billion. Cyberpunk, something. <laughs> Thanks a lot. What exactly does that means, Samuel? It's uh, it's like a, a man saluting. But again, also, I don't know what the price is going to be. This is just me guessing. I might be wrong, and I might be very wrong with, with, with my guess at the price. At the price. Still do Rubik or passenger missions. Should I switch to mining? Well, mining is definitely a lot more profitable than the passenger missions. But again, you get other things from passenger missions that you don't get from mining. Like you can get um, like grade five materials for engineering. You get some federal ranks, um, something along those lines. And we are probably gonna. I am planning to go and do some mining here in about half an hour i think i just want to get a few more jumps done here we're down to 150 we've been doing well just over 30 jumps today not impressive numbers but i mean if i just honked and jumped it i could probably be in uh, in colonia in just over two hours um i can jump a minute right should be doable Fuel stop here. Yes, it's just hit elite in trade with mining. How much mining did that take? Am I going to Colonia to go mining? Yeah, that's probably a thing that will happen. What are your thoughts on EVE Online? Well, I played EVE Online for about seven years, I think. Um, so, obviously, I like the game. Um, I really like the game. Problem is, for me, EVE Online is a very, very time-demanding game. I'm just going to get the microphone moved a little bit here. I'm sorry about that. Um, I mean, it is something where you... I mean, it, I was playing it when I was studying, and that is okay, because I could stay up late if we were out with a fleet. The problem with a game like, like EVE Online is if you're out with a fleet, you pretty much have to wait until the fleet returns back home. Um, or you're pretty much gonna like throw away your ship. Because the ship, you will lose your ship if you try to head back from enemy space um, alone. That's of course assuming you live in Nullsec, which was what I enjoyed the most last time I uh, 
I played was like setting up large industry structures out in uh, in all sex space. Um, so that's why I kind of like put Eve Online aside because I just can't put in those like stay up until two o'clock kind of things um, on a regular basis. Um, But I like it. It's a it's a good game. Uh, yeah, some people call it spreadsheets online, but if you've been staying with the channel for for a while, you will know that I like spreadsheets. When at Gamescom, did did you get many people asking for your autograph and selfie snaps? Though <laughs> I don't think I got recognized by anyone at Gamescom. That was another question that they put up about mining lands. Let's see if I can find that. Uh, the mining lands is worth getting for painite mining in a cutter. I really like it because if you want to free up your two or the, the larger hit points, hard points of the ship, you're forced to use the two uh, hard points out of the nacelles for, um, for your lasers. And the normal mining lasers has a 500 meter range and the cutter itself is like 200 meters long that means that the first 200 meters of your range is used just to clear the ship um leaving you with just 300 meters in front of the ship where you can actually mine which is not a lot in elite so i would i really like the mining lances and the fact that you can begin mining the rock from further away is also really useful You actually saw me there, Reaction Craft. I was about to say you should have shouted, but that probably wouldn't have helped with the amount of noise that was there. I was wandering around there for uh, for quite a few days. Uh, quite a few days. Two, <laughs> running around there for two days. So apparently I did get recognized, but nobody actually came up to me and said hello. And again, Gamescon was like so crowded and i guess unless you are specifically looking for a person in in a crowd i mean i could possibly have walked right past someone i knew and i wouldn't have noticed because you just get that filter on where people around you is just people you don't really look at faces and see who they are there are just too many faces to do that so you just focus on the signs and figure out where to go and how to get around people in the most efficient manner Look at that, look at all the stars. And behind us, there's nothing. In front of us, everything. Michael says, just joined. What are we up to? Um, I'm making my way towards Colonia. And I think we are just shy of 10,000 light years out. And in about half an hour's time, we're going to go and do some uh, some mining on the main account instead. We've been exploring now for two and a half hours. Going to give it another half hour and then, uh, then do something else. 22 bodies. Yeah, the standard fitted advanced discovery scanner is really nice. How are we doing on jumps? Uh, 46. You know what? I'll set up a straw pull. We can figure out what type of mining we should do. I want to go mining. I want to make some credits. But I'm not sure which type of mining you guys would prefer. Uh, let's see here. Straw pull. Why is my straw pool in German? Hold oh, on. Switch that over to English, please. Thank you. Uh, 
That's a big system. Oh, what do we have here? That's a water world, isn't it? Forty-seven planets, really? Okay, here we go. This is gonna take a while. Oh, what is that? That is. Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. And can I get that before it disappears? Thanks a lot for the subscription on YouTube. Okay. Okay, we have a straw pole. Gonna post that so you guys can go and uh, and put in your votes. Oh, uh, I moved. Ah, damn it. Okay. Well, let's get scanning. Oh, this could be bad. Can you guys hear that? Ah, did I make a typo? Yeah, I did. I wonder if YouTube donations tax deductible in the US. I wonder if YouTube donations are tax deductible. <laughs> I don't think so. That I mean, that depends. Yeah, there was some thunder in the background. We're gonna keep an eye on that. If that moves, that one was really far away though. If that moves closer, I might have to call the stream early because I had I had had a lightning hit the building once, and that almost fried my server. <laughs> so I'm not too fond of uh, of having too much hardware plugged in when uh, when there's a thunderstorm overhead. What? There should be more here. It says there is. Look. It's maybe not in that cluster. It's the separate one. Okay, that was really close. Yeah, the thunder is real life thunder. Yeah, that was really close. I think, unfortunately, I will have to uh, to call it because that last one was a little bit closer than I like. Um, so it is not far from being overhead and I don't want equipment fried or myself for that matter. Um, that's unfortunate. I was actually planning to be streaming for at least another three hours, but um, maybe I could get another stream going at... Uh, at some other point at least uh, we'll, we'll continue uh, come on where is this thing uh, otherwise we'll be probably continuing on Tuesday if, unless we have another thunderstorm in the area okay there's actually a, a category 1 warning out on uh, hold on let me check that real quick
yeah, categ how is this categorized? But yeah, there's a warning out for uh, for the weathers in uh, in my area. So um, I think I will uh, I'll have to call it here. I'll drop down. Um, Drop out a super cruise here, and then we'll call. No, that's not dropping out. That's dropping out. Um, but anyway, um, sorry, but I have to call the cut the stream a little short, uh, shorter than uh, first anticipated. But again, um, I've had a, a, a lightning hit the building once uh, before, and it almost cost me my uh, my storage server. I don't want that happen, uh, and I don't want to use my lose my main rig either. So anyway, I'm gonna um, sh shut down the stream now. Sorry that I didn't manage to get. Uh, get the thing going but i hope you guys understand um as we said yeah fly safe that's definitely what we're trying to do here but thanks a lot for for joining tonight guys i really hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a like if you haven't subscribed already please do and help me push towards the fifty thousand so we can do even more celebrations um but anyway also huge thank you to all you guys who have been uh, been donating today it's been absolutely wonderful um, I might try to get a stream going tomorrow if I can. I can't promise anything. It's a, maybe a, it's a little bit more. Uh, I don't know. Um, but at the very least, um, thanks for this time. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'll see you guys in space.